In this experiment, we're going to titrate sodium hydrogen sulfate solution that we prepared previously and is 0.11 molar against sodium hydroxide of unknown concentration. The sodium hydroxide's in the burette, and we've already pipetted 25 centimeters cubed of sodium hydrogen sulfate into the conical flask. We'll be using phenolphthalein indicator. We add two to three drops. And we're now ready to go. We take an initial burette reading. This one is set up, so that's 0.0. And we write that down in our lab book. We've already done a rangefinder titration, and we found out that we required 26.4 centimeters cubed of the sodium hydroxide to change the colour of the indicator. So we ought to be able to add 25 centimeters cubed, which is about there, quite comfortably without uh, a persistent colour change. So there we have about 25.4 and with swirling we see the colour disappears. We need to titrate until we get a persistent pink colour that lasts for at least 30 seconds. So we can now add dropwise. Swirling between drops. And we're about there. So is that colour going to persist for 30 seconds? Let's take a reading. And we've got 26.123, 26 26 26.35. So in this particular instance, we've got two concordant values that are within 0.1, 26.4 for our first titration, 26.35 for our second one. So we've successfully titrated this mixture. We could go on to titrate a further one to check if we need, needed to, but it's really not necessary in this case. Titration of sodium hydroxide against sodium hydrogen sulfate. 